Hi guys, it's Aiden from GamePair here. In this video, we're just going to show you quickly how to get the Stropa Gunblade, which was recently added to Warframe in the Deadlock Protocol update. To get the main blueprint for the Stropa, you will need to kill the Jackal, the new Jackal fight at the Fossa Node on Venus. You're just going to have to grind that until you actually get the blueprint to drop. Um, after that, you're going to need to farm up the barrel, blade, receiver, and stock from the Granum Void. The Granum Void is a new thing that was added to the game. To get access to it, you will need to run missions on the Corpus ship tile set. During these missions, an enemy called the Treasurer can spawn in. He will have a red waypoint on him. You run to him, kill him, and he will drop what's called a Granum Crown. And they can be used at the Golden Hand attributes that also spawn randomly on the Corpus Ship tile set to visit the Granum Void. So, this is the breakdown of the different types of crowns, how to get them, and what they will actually drop with regards to the Stropa in the Void. So, up first, the normal crown will get you access to the standard void where you can farm both the barrel and the blade from rotation C, which is basically rank 3, uh, 75 kills, and that can be farmed at Fossa on Venus. The exemplar crown will get you access to the extended void. That's where you can get the receiver at rotation C or rank 3. And they can be farmed at Tritheon on Neptune. The Zenith crown, the last one, will get you access to the Nightmare Void. And that is where you can get the stock once again at Rotation C rank 3. And they can be farmed at Oceanum on Pluto. So the rank 3 thing, basically, each time you load in, you'll see at the start, it will tell you rank 1, 2, or 3. Rank 3 is 75 kills of the Spectre Ghosts that exist in the Void. And the rewards will all stack. So if you get to rank 3, you will get the rank 1, rank 2, and rank 3 rewards when it is all over. But you're basically going to be grinding that until you get all the parts. When you have all the parts... You can go back to the orbiter, you can go to the foundry, you can make up your gun blade, which will take a 24 hour build time. And that's it. That's how you get your hands on it. We haven't had really had much time to play with it yet, just a little bit. But it's a lot of fun. I'm going to see how it stacks up against something like a Redeemer Prime later. And I'll hopefully have some build videos on the way at some point over the weekend. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying the new content.